Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting topic, the gyroscope. A gyroscope is a spinning metal disc inside of a frame. It spins and it looks normal, but what is not normal is that it can appear to divide gravity. The spinning metal disc is always spinning for it to defy gravity. Sometimes the frame also spins with it, but sometimes it doesn't. Without a spin, the gyroscope can't balance on a spin point. It falls over. But if you somehow spin the wheel fast enough, the gyroscope shall stay upright. And for a long time, it will stay upright. So, in space, if you look at it, if you take a normal gyroscope that is not spinning, the gyroscope will just twist in midair. If you touch it, it's gonna spin, like normal things do in space. But if you spin it, it will stand up straight in space, right in the middle of the air. Even if you try and move it, it won't move. Only if you physically actually take it and twist it into a different plane, then it will continue spinning in that direction. But if you slightly nudge it, it won't move like others, like other normal objects in space. Here is a gyroscope. You can see the metal disc inside and it spins. and the frame. So the way I'm going to spin this is to use a string. Okay. So that is how it spins. Here is a little bit better gyroscope. You can't some you might not be able to see the disc inside, but it is spinning. So we shall use this stick to pull it. And then now the inside disc is spinning. You can see, you can see that on the disc it is spinning. But it is staying upright. It's not falling over like it should. Why? Because the spinning disc creates angular momentum. You can twist it in any way you want, but it will still stay. Sometimes if the disc is spinning fast enough, you can even balance it on a string. Also, if you put it like this, it will stay spinning in that direction. If you put it like this, it shall roll in that direction. So, why? Since the disc is spinning, it can uh, adjust. If it's falling, it knows. Because it's a spinning disc, that creates a type of force, you can call it, which makes it stay upright. Once the disc stops spinning, it just falls down and it becomes a normal spinning object. saw before if it was spin it would stay because of the force called angular momentum it can stay up because of the spinning the force generated by that 
and it stays. So there are also many uses for the gyroscope. Some uses include airplanes and spacecraft. The reason they could use it is because if they put the gyroscope inside a place inside the plane or jet or spacecraft, the gyroscope will be moving upright or in any direction the pilot put it in. But when the plane goes up, the gyroscope sometimes it might go like this because the entire plane went like that. So that helps the electronic machines to interpret how if the plane went this way, the machines inside the plane would somehow make it come that way. So that is a good use of a gyroscope because a gyroscope can always tell you which direction it is. And since it will stay upright, there is no danger of a gyroscope falling over and causing the machines to get confused. A normal tops would have moved like this, but even if the plane is not tilting, normal spinning objects wouldn't take it properly and they would make the machines faulty. But a gyroscope due to its angular momentum can stay upright. Because of the whole plane spinning that way, the gyroscope itself will spin with the bottom of the plane. That is how the pilot knows that the plane is turning this way, and that's mainly how the machine also knows. So that, so that the engines can correct the levelness of the plane. There are also many other uses for gyroscopes, including in toy helicopters, drones, and other toy remote control flying objects. That, uh, the, uh, that's the same reason it's used in spacecraft and planes. Without a gyroscope, a plane or a remote control helicopter or drone doesn't know which way is up. Even if the helicopter turned upside down, it wouldn't know. The machines wouldn't know. They have no way of figuring out, is it up or is it down? But with a gyroscope, it can tell. The engines and machines can detect if the gyroscope moves this way, the plane, or the helicopter, or the drone is wrong. And then using that information, the drone can correct itself. So if you don't find a gyroscope in a drone, or a helicopter or a plane or any flying object that requires an engine, it's probably not gonna work because gyroscopes are in very important to flying objects. So, I hope you thought this was an interesting topic because gyroscope, gyroscopes are really cool because of their anti, so-called anti-gravity trick. So thank you for watching. Bye.